It's finally here. The brand new digital planning system that I have been working on has arrived. This one comes with a ton of extra stuff that will truly allow you to customize the planner and make it yours, and I can't wait to show you. Before I show you what's inside and how everything works, I want to tell you what the main features of this planner are. This is a really awesome one because it has over 600 pages, it comes fully dated, it includes monthly, weekly and daily views that are linked to your months, and it even comes with two different styles of monthly views and you can pick whichever works best for you. Or use them both for different purposes. For example, you can use one for work and one for home. The color scheme of each month is different, so you'll never get tired of looking at the same pages. This planner can be used on multiple devices and all you need is to have a PDF annotation app installed. Although the extra elements and stickers are optimized to be used in GoodNotes. If you choose to use a different note-taking app, you can simply send the planner to that app and then use Stixer or a similar image managing app so that you can add your stickers and elements. Once you have sent your planner to your note-taking app, you will be able to add text either using the pen tool or by adding text boxes. Now let's take a look at the planner. So like any other Printstick planner, your first page in the planner, I call it the cover page, and this is actually a blank page. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. It comes like this. In this particular planner, this page comes with this yellow color, and then you can add all of the elements that you want. In this case, I added my cover. By the way, when you purchase this planner, you will also get the wonderful cover set. This is one of the covers included in that set and you can also add your widgets. I added some calendars here. I also created this little sign using my letterboard widgets and then we move on and you get to the most important page. You have links to Printstick social media and the shop. So if you want to open anything, you would just tap on a link, click on yes, and then that will open that website. Here you have some basic instructions on how to use widgets, stickers, and how to create more pages inside this planner. Here on the left is where you have the extra spreads and actually it's so many, so I am not going to be able to show them to you all today, but I can show you a couple. For example, you have this memory page and here you can add photos and little text boxes and know that if you tap on this first tab on the right side you'll go back to this info page where you have your index to go to a different spread so you kind of have to explore by yourself because there's a ton of options So this was our extras page and if I keep going I'll get to my yearly calendar. Let me clear this just to show you what it looks like when it's new. So of course you don't have these notes that I added myself. I'm actually going to keep the important birthdays on this page but you can use it however you want. You have a full calendar for the year and of course this is linked so if I tap on one of the months I'm going to open that month and then to go back to my yearly calendar I have two options. I can tap on this number right here, the date, and it's gonna bring me back here, or I can also just tap on the second tab on the right, you'll see there's a calendar icon, and you'll go back to your yearly calendar. Okay, so these two pages that I'm gonna show you now are probably my favorite thing in this planner, and this was inspired on the box index that I have added to some other planners, like the Pro Planner and the Pastel Planner 2. And that means that you get a bunch of boxes in these two pages, so it's two indexes, as I call them, and you can decorate them and add color and words and make it look really pretty. I actually have an old blank copy of this planner right here, so let me just show you what those indexes look like when they're new. So this is the first one, and every box here is linked to a section, so the bottom right of every box is gonna link to its own section. Now to go back to that specific index, you will tap on this area of the spiral. Here we are. So you have a total of 10 sections with this first index, and if you need more space, or if you want a different subject, but to have more customizable sections, then you tap on the bottom part of the spiral and you'll open this second index, again with the boxes. Same thing, if you tap at the bottom right of every box, you'll open a page, 
The pages linked to this second index are all blue, so they're dark, which means that you can write with a light color ink on top, or you'll see the spreads in a second that you can add. Those are white too, so they're gonna pop really nicely. And the spreads linked to the first index, which is this one, are just different colors. You know, you can choose whichever you want. You will also get more elements to change the color of the pages. And again, I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, now going back to the planner that I am using, so this is mine, I decided to keep this first index for memory photos of myself and my family and things that we do in the house. So I added these little titles and my second index, I'm gonna leave it for things related to print sticks. So I already added some boxes and you will get these boxes in the elements included. And then you just add text boxes on top to label each of the sections. Now, if you want to have customized sections throughout the whole planner, meaning that you'll be able to open those sections from wherever you are in the planner. So that's these four tabs on the right. And if you tap on each, you'll open the this particular section and again this is linked throughout the planner so let's say I'm inside a month I can just tap on that section and I'm gonna go back here so I'm gonna tap on my first monthly tab which is January at the top right here under my calendar there we go so this is the month of January these are the January colors so it means that all of the spreads included in January will have this color scheme to access your big calendar view, you have to tap on the left side of the monthly tab and to access the smaller calendar dashboard, then you tap on the right side of the tab. And another cool thing about uh, this planner is that you have these little circles here, which are actually more sections that you can customize and that will be unique to each month. So if I tap on my to do button, I'll open a brand new section to go back to January. I just tap on this tab. And as you can see, you have five sections here that you can customize. This is just text boxes that I added. And this is just an example of how I will be using my sections. You also have access to these sections from the big calendar view. You just tap on the left side of these labels right here. Every day in the month here is linked. So if I tap on a number, I'm gonna open that daily spread. Now to go back to January, I can either tap on its tab or I can tap on this month here on the left. So it's a little faster. And you also get your weeks, of course. So those are gonna be linked to the top left corner of every Monday box. I tap there and then I get to my weekly spreads. One last amazing feature is that you will actually receive two planners, one with vertical weekly spreads and one with horizontal weeks. So you don't have to choose, just try them both. Now you'll see that this planner has some blank spaces on some pages and the reason for that is because you will be able to add whichever widgets or elements to these spaces. I'll show you real quick, I have done something to here, for example. So I added these trackers to this side and just some lists of things that I need to do. All of these elements, you will get them when you purchase this planner, it's included. You also have this calendar in the form of elements and that will be the next bit that we'll see in this video. Okay, so there's even more included in each monthly section of this planner. And as you can see, there's a few buttons here. You have different spreads linked to each month. So the first one is a meal planner. And let me go back to January. And then you have this like home dashboard. You have places to write, you know, appointments, who has to go where, at what time, chores, errands, and a few other lists. Then you get your finance spread to keep track of your finances. And then you have a work spread, things you need to get done for work. So all of these four spreads are unique to January, but every other month, for example, July, will also have their own spreads linked to the monthly. Okay, so this is it for what's included in the planner. But as I said, you get a few other goodies when you purchase this planner. And the first one is this file that has elements, as I call them, and these will allow you to customize your planner. So the first set that you get here is actually the colors used in the planners. The first column here is the colors for January. These are for February, March, and so on. So if you go to your planner, um, let's say I want to match the colors of March, 
Then this is my color palette that will be used in March. So let me just open March. And then I paste this sticker. And as you can see, you can't even see the first color because it's the same one. I have the exact same colors that were used on this spread. So these stickers can be used in programs like Procreate, Keynote, and some others that will allow you to use an eyedropper to select whichever color you want. And unfortunately, you cannot do that in GoodNotes, but that's why I added these codes here because you can customize your color palettes in GoodNotes. And I'll show you real quick how to do that. So you will tap on your pen so you can have your colors showing up here. Then you tap on a color and I actually already added all of my color palettes, but I'll show you how to add the last one, which should be for December. I didn't do this one. Okay, so here I have my codes, all right? And it's so easy. You're just gonna tap on a code, long press it, click on copy, go to my palette, click on edit, and then plus here. Then I want to enter the code here. However, GoodNotes doesn't allow me to do it unless I'm in portrait mode for some reason, but just flip your iPad and you will just paste the code here and click on where it says add to presets. And that has added my color at the bottom here. So when I tap on it, I will be able to have the exact same color of my spreads okay so this is the first page in the elements gallery but you have more things for example here you have the boxes you have those trackers that i showed you and the way this works is you can just use your lasso to create a selection on top of the item that you want to use then you would go to your planner and then tap and hold and click on paste okay so this is a simple way but you can also drag this tab of the elements side to side so we can use split screen view and the way that works is I will now go to my image tool on this tab and then tap and hold on an image and then I will be able to bring it onto my planner just by dragging it. Okay, let me show you more things that you have included on this gallery. You have your headers. These are all white elements because the pages in your planner are colored. So of course you want them to pop. Now here is where you get the stickers that you will be able to use for your index. So I'm just gonna copy one and let me go back to my planner. Okay, I'm gonna go to my index by tapping here. Okay, this one's done, but let's say here I want to paste it and then that's it. As you can see, the size is already set up. So all you have to do is copy and paste and then arrange the sticker, whatever you want it. If you wanted to modify this index that has different sizes of boxes, then you just paste the sticker and then you use your image tool to resize it according to the size that you want. These are the pages that will allow you to change the existing colors of your pages on the planner. So for example, I want this green one. I'm just going to copy it, go back to my planner. I want these pages to be green instead of purple. So I just paste this and the page already fits. I don't really have to resize. Now the issue is that I blocked my spiral, but don't worry when I go back to my elements gallery, let me scroll a little and I'll find more spirals that I can use. I have the original color used in the planner, but I also have some different color options. So let's say I want to use this brown one. So I'll just copy it and then go here and paste it. This is sized properly already. So all you have to do is reposition it. You also have different types of papers. So for example, if I want to add some dotted pages to these green uh, spreads, I'll just paste these two images and then I can start writing with this background. You can also customize some other things in the planner. For example, let's go to my January weekly spread here. And let's say I want to have times for my boxes and let me scroll a little bit. So these three boxes are the ones that will allow you to add numbers to your weeks. So I'll copy this one. Okay. And then go to my planner and then tap and hold. And then here I have the times that I can add to my daily box. And just like that, I have an hourly spread on my page. Okay, as part as your elements, you have some trackers. And if there's no header for what you want specifically, then you can build your own using these letters. These are all individual stickers. So you can use this alphabet to write whatever you want on the planner. So those are the elements, again, fully included when you purchase this planner, but there's even more. You will also get the same inserts included in the planner, but as separate elements. So you have this file very well organized. You have a little index here where you can find the different spreads. 
Again, the same ones that you have included in the planner already. However, these come as separate elements, so it's gonna be even easier to add them to your blank pages. So let's say I want to use my workout spread and all I do, use my lasso. And this time the insert is separate from the page. So I can just copy it and then go to my planner tap and hold, click on paste, and then I'll have my workouts spread whatever I want. Okay guys, so this is everything that's included with the wonderful planner. So I'm gonna leave the link below where you can get this. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks and creative things that you can do on iPad. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.